So I had some questions about scooting and, uh, you know, to get more in depth with uh, this concept here, it's, uh, it's possible that if I'm paddling, that I can have my blade in the water and me not have pressure on my blade and have a, a false sense of boat movement, right? So I don't have any pressure on my blade at all here. And so when I'm paddling, it may seem like I'm moving the boat, but I'm really not. I got nothing going on here. So what we want to do is make sure that we're taking the stroke in. I'm actually taking the stroke here, moving the boat. So the scooting is me having this motion of this body with seemingly uh, <clears throat> fake sense of boat movement, right? And it happens even if you do have something going on on your blade, and then, it, and then you just end up do, having this total disconnection to your boat. And it appears as if we're moving the boat, but we want to just eliminate any excessive movements of mine, just make sure that that pressure on the blade is going to where I want it to go. So when I take my stroke, I don't want at any point some form of scooting going on, and you can see excessive movement, fast movement. So when I paddle, I just want that full connection. And the two points of contact, the butt and the legs. So it's almost as if I'm grabbing the seat with my butt. And that's where I'm trying to put some of that pressure from the blade into the boat is me grabbing and pushing the boat. So we try to think of this more as a pushing sport than a pulling sport. I'm just grabbing water up here and I'm trying to push the boat past it. And that'll help us hopefully have a better connection with the canoe. Okay, so hinging, body hinging. Uh, some of you notice some of us just sit straight upright and there's really just a lot of rotation involved. And some people paddle and they have this big body movement forward when they take their stroke and they have this, every stroke is this big hinge, right? So if we think of, if we try to dissect this motion, uh, this hinge, yes, it gives us more a longer stroke. So let's see the difference of how much longer. So right here, my blade's fully buried here. My body's basically almost folded over my legs, right? So my, my blade's buried there. If I don't hinge and I just sit upright and I have my blade in the water at my full maximum reach here, um, maybe that far of a difference shorter. So a couple inches of piece side difference. So, but what happens is if I do end up hinging so far, right, my position of my body, see my arms and my blade is way above me here. And for me to end up trying to grab something and, and do anything like that up here is far uh, less powerful than me here having my body above and behind this blade that I can really implement a lot of power and force on it here that I could grabbing something up here trying to do the same. So we're in a stronger uh, mechanical structural position here. So the further and further I go with my body, I essentially, essentially getting less and less strong. It becomes weaker and weaker. So if I think about uh, a good analogy to this is doing a push-up. So if I'm doing a push-up, my hands, my whole body is behind where, where the ground, where I'm pushing against the ground. So it's easy for me to get my body weight up if I move my hands further and further up as I lay on the ground trying to do a push-up, that action gets harder and harder and harder the further I move my hands up above me, right? So this is a, kind of the same thing going on where the further and further I go forward here, this becomes a lot more difficult. And it's it's a back extension. So the muscles we're using are these ones here of, of a back extension. and. We do essentially want to have the feeling of the hips going forward like that, of, of the push there, but we just don't want to get out too far outside our box. We want to stay in this strong mechanical and structural position here where say I'm doing an hour race, two hour race, I can't really sustain too much of this going on for that long. I want to pick and choose when to do that to make these longer reaches, um, to get longer strokes. And we always want to do that when you're already at speed. Uh, so we can we can use our strong muscles, getting a boat up to speed and maintaining a speed. And when I want that little extra here and there, I can go 
go outside that box, but it's it's not very sustainable for a long period of time. Uh, so not to say we shouldn't do it ever. We should practice it, and everyone has a different style of paddling, and everyone should, you know, kind of have. Everyone does have their own mannerisms and way of paddling, and and if you do it all the time, you'll make it work. Uh, I don't really think there's like an absolute way to paddle. Um, and I think that we all should test different, different ways to paddle so we can figure out and progress from where we are currently because everything does. And if we don't think outside the box as well, then we won't end up progressing. So take what I'm saying with a grain of salt and use critical thinking and try to, you know, just look at it from, a, an outside perspective of this isn't totally true. Maybe there is a better way and then we can end up progressing from here. But from the hinging aspect, we're much stronger just sitting upright and being tall uh, and then, then having so much of this. In the bigger boats, six mans, we do have end up having more motion. There's a lot more momentum going on uh, and you do have a higher boat speed as well. Uh, but overall in the one mans, we don't really need too much of it but not to say not to do it. When you're in the ocean, it's a different story. Many variables going on. So usually after you've caught a wave and it's a fast moving wave, you're reaching for the trough, go long, right? But I'm much more a fan of if someone tells you to reach or go longer in your stroke, like they'll go gadget arms. Just have your arms just go way up there, right? Instead of staying just right here with my arm, I'm gonna reach as far as I can with my arm, right? So more so like that, so I can tame and control my body and stay above and behind my paddle, right?